Hello everyone and welcome again to another Pro 100 tutorial video. Uh, today I want to show you just the basic uh, functions of most of these icons that you see, especially if you're a beginner. Now, when you launch Pro 100 for the first time, uh, you will see this window. And of course, you can choose to start a new project or open an existing project or the last one you were working on or if you have templates, you can open it. We're not gonna do any of that today. All I'm doing here is showing you the basics. Okay, so what you see here is a, a 3D virtual room. You can resize this room by just double click on any empty space and you can change the size, the height, the width, the length and all that. Now, the first thing you wanna do here is you want to bring in your tools. Uh, in order to do that, you should to go to tools and the catalog is the, the most important thing. So you, when you click on it, uh, it might come somewhere in the middle or to the left, but you always want to dock it to your right. If you'd like to put it on the left, that's fine. But in order for you to dock it to your right, you just grab it by the handle somewhere around here. And when you start when you hold down and drag it down, you will see this arrow left, right, up, down. So you just go over the arrow and I want mine. I don't want it up here or left or down. I want it right here. So then I release and boom. So now I have my catalog. Now, normally you will see cabinets, furniture, textures, and objects. You can stretch this panel or dock you can decide you want maybe more items uh, on the display for example if you change that to 8080 see you have more stuff but then they're now tiny or you can go even you know smaller if you like i like mine around 128 this is big enough for me okay so now don't be intimidated by all these icons here, um, anytime you bring in an item, I'm, I'm going to go to my catalog and I'll just bring in any cabinet, okay, any base cabinet. Now, notice when you, when you double click, then whatever you're double clicking is coming right at the center of the room and it's just floating in the air. Uh, of course, if it's a base cabinet, you want to just drag it down on the floor, right? Now, the first thing I want to do is turn off the lights because I don't need it. And also, if you look at this cabinet, I want to make sure I can see the contours. So you turn on the contours. If uh, You don't have to go here to find stuff. You can also highlight and right click and all those icons you see are all here, right? Okay, most of them are right here and you can use them. So now there's so many ways of doing the same thing and that's the beauty of Pro 100. I can decide just by drag it down, it's on the floor. Now, you notice we're on the 3D uh, elevation, which is also known as exonometry. Uh, there are times where you need to change different elevation depending on what you're working on. Of course, you always want your items to be on this corner, which we call position zero, zero. How do I know that? If you look from the plan view right here, it's all the way there and if you, the corner, and if you double click, the position is zero, zero, zero. It simply means this cabinet, we're looking at it from the top, is zero inches from the left wall, it's zero inches from the ground, and it's zero inches from the back wall. This is the back wall. Now, here's another trick I can tell you. I can show you, sorry. Um, anytime, anytime that you on the plan view, if you double click an item, listen, let me double click on this one. It will come in all right but this time, because we're on the plan view, it's going to be on the floor. See that? That's the difference. So I like using the plan view a lot. 
only because uh i'm just deleting because when you're in 3d by the way this is the perspective view not exonometry uh, i'm sorry about that so when you're in th when you're 3d which is the perspective view if you double click now it's remembering where the last cabinet was that's simply what it's doing all right but if i start a new project you will notice that that is not the same if i double click on 3d right at the center and it's it's just hanging in the air so you want to start with the plan view when you set a new project so you're looking from the top this is your virtual rooms so when you bring something guarantee it's on the floor it's on the floor and you can you can look at it i'm going to turn on the contours so you can see those lines um I like to use this button right here there's a difference between this one this button and this button this is auto as it says what it means is if let's say I turn it on you can turn it you can, it can stay on when you turn it on it means every time you move item to the uh, to the far right or far left uh, it will tend to come back to the center let me try with this one here. I'm going to move it. You see, I'm hiding. So I'm going to move it all the way. You see, if I, if I release, it's coming right at the center. I'm going to do it again. Release. And that's because I have this button checked. Now, I like to use this a lot because this doesn't stay on or off. You can just, if you want to focus on, let's say, this particular this particular cabinet then I will highlight it and if I click on it it comes right now I can zoom in and that's this that's my focus that cabinet I can look at it from any angle that I like whether I want to look inside I can hide and look inside all right so I just wanted to walk you through the basics and uh, uh, you can follow uh, the, the beginner's guide, which is on online. And if you have any questions, pro100usa.com.